One of the things I really love about Xero is how easy it makes it to manage and pay your bills. I'm just here at the uh, dashboard for uh, the demo company and I'm just going to go into see what's outstanding. So I'll click on accounts and then go down to purchases. Okay, that opens up and it shows me all the different uh, statuses of bills. So I've got a couple in draft, they might be expense claims or something or other. Um, some are waiting approval, so these have been entered but they're waiting for the manager to say, yep, that bill's correct. Um, obviously the awaiting payment and the ones that are actually overdue at the moment. So let's start with the ones that are overdue and I'll open those up so I can see the items that are currently overdue. You notice that the uh, fortnightly pay run is in here as an overdue item so that's something that can easily be cleared. Um, I'm just going to have a look at these uh, items and I'm going to say well okay I'm, I'm, I really want to pay PowerDirect and NetConnect. The others I'll just leave for now, I don't have the cash to pay them. Might be my reason or they might not be screaming hard enough just yet. Okay, so once I've selected them, it's simply a matter of clicking on to batch payment, okaying those items as being the ones that you want to pay, and they will come up here. And as you can see, I can just enter the payment date, which I'll make today. I enter the bank account that it's going to get paid from, and I can just put some details um, to, to um, uh, that'll come up on the bank statement. So I might pay pay suppliers might be in there. The banking details are already set up in here, so they're ready to go. It's just a matter of clicking on make payments, and basically in the system now the payment has been done. I can send remittance advices to the suppliers. I just put in their details. Um, I don't have the details here now, so I won't worry about doing that. But if I just click send, they'll automatically get a, an advice that you've paid their bills. And um, and then the other thing I can do now is actually export the, the batch file. So basically what that is, and you can see it just coming down in the little um, corner of my screen. It's an ABA file which can be uploaded into your banking and it then sends a message to your bank to say pay these f these uh, items. So um, everybody's bank works a bit different. For Westpac it's simply a matter of uploading it, um, authorising the payment. You get to check who the payment is for. So if you're getting somebody else to manage your uh, ABA files and you're thinking they might be sl sl um, putting something extra in, uh, you can always make sure that those are those items are correct. So basically that's how you manage your payments on zero for your suppliers. Um, obviously you can do it manually, but if you do do it this way, you'll find that um, it's much easier for you to match the payments um, against the invoices and uh, from a bookkeeping perspective there's a lot of time saving involved um, for particularly for clients on accrual accounts uh, who need to have accurate accounts payables uh, it makes life a lot easier so I do recommend that you look at um, using this uh, system and hopefully uh, it'll make life a lot easier for everybody thanks for your time